Hello everyone, today in this video we will be discussing the module 2 of UI wherein we have 5 super important questions. These are the most expected questions and if you watch this video till the end you will get to know what are the key points you need to write in the exam so you can get full marks in this module and how do you remember the important key points. All those things we will be discussing stay tuned till the end of this video and don't forget to like and subscribe to my channel because your support helps me make more videos like this. Without wasting any more time, let's get started. The first question what you need to know is the obstacles and the pitfalls. What does the question expect from us is we need to write what are the obstacles we face when we come into the uh, development path and what are the pitfalls are there for this you have to remember a simple story what is the uh, story is there was a person he, he was a ui ux developer and he was going on a trip and he went and went and took a wrong path he had a right and left path he took uh, by mistake uh, right path there he saw many trees and uh, many fruits were also there then he saw a lake there he went and dived deep into the lake and crossed the lake and came to the other side of the lake there was a person standing with a contract and he told him take this contract and bring me good fishes but he did not provide him any tools so he could not bring any good fishes the points you need to remember is the first thing nobody gets right for the first time he went and took the wrong path no development is choked full of surprises he went and saw many trees there that is nothing but a surprise to him good design requires living in a sea of changes he just dived deep into the lake that is known as sea of changes making contacts to ignore the change will never eliminate the need of change that means the person gave him contract by using that keyword you have to uh, keep this in mind even if you have made the best system humanly possible you will people will still make mistakes when uh, using it he did not give him the good tools that is the uh, next point and because of not giving good tools he made the mistakes then that was about the obstacles and what about the pitfalls pitfalls means while he was coming back on the way to his home he realized many things what are the things he realized like he, he realized that there was no early analysis and understanding of the user's need and expectations the person who was standing there he did not analyze him properly and what are his needs he just dived deep, in, uh, dived deep into the water and brought some features that was not to be done focus on design features are not there little or no creation he is like a stupid loser okay that's why he has all those things no usability testing no common team vision no interface design goals, poor communication means all the bad things about the uh, development, those all things you have to mention in the pitfall. Keeping these two points uh, in the mind, you have to uh, answer this question, very important question from exam point of view. Now, since we have these two uh, things like the obstacles and the pitfalls, it's very important for you to know what are the five commandments for the development of people. For the designing of people, what are the five commandments? These are the five super important uh, concepts which you need to write and highlight and uh, write something about it. So, what do you uh, get to mind? Uh, what does get uh, to your mind when you hear the word command? A uh, teacher's very strict face comes to our mind who gives always commands and assignments, right? So that's what you have to remember. Your it's a first day in college. You came and your teacher gave you a very bad command to go and do some assignment which already some people are working upon. Involve with them and do the uh, stuff iteratively and make some updates modifications and the teacher will be giving you some more hints and by using that hint you should make sure that the project is done by the end of the day that's what happens with most of most of us right so that's what you have to uh, mention here also the first thing is that gain a complete understanding of the user and their tasks when you went there you have to first understand what the user is doing solicit early and ongoing user involvement you have to involve with the users and solicit it early so that you can get to know what's happening next provide rapid or prototyping and testing or testing the already existing features and if they are not Good, you're modifying it and iterating the design as much as necessary and the teacher will be giving you further assignments without any break that's what integrating the design of all system components whatever the teacher gives you have to integrate and design it accordingly okay so that's what about the five commandments you have to write and uh, elaborate much you can easily write it in your own words make sure you don't miss this question it's very important from exam point of view after that we have some human characteristics it's also a very super important question which is you have to just mention what are the human characteristics present in the uh, ui uh, field human characters you can start from here start from the perception that's the first thing then move on slightly for the memory there are two types of memory short term and long term memory then you have sensory storage for the eyes after that we have the visual activity visual activity is also present here and four wheel and peripheral vision four wheel means what straight vision peripheral vision means what if you are if you're seeing me at uh, right now you can see somewhat to the 180 degree here 180 degree here what is happening in your right and left that is called as peripheral vision that is also very important uh, thing which have to consider while designing for the uh, ui ux okay after that we have the information processing and then we have mental models movement control skills learning and individual differences all you have to do is at least remember five points in this domain and you'll be easily able to answer this question Moving on to the fourth super important question we have the direct and indirect methods never miss this question it's the most expected question and most important question direct and indirect methods means direct means what directly you are doing it 
that's all direct methods means you will be having an offline things what are the offline things like individual face to face interview telephone interview traditional focus group facilitated team observational field study requirement prototyping testing card sorting laboratory testing all the tests uh, prototyping and meeting and uh, discussing on uh, uh, the team work workshop group everything comes under the direct methods of business requirement analysis next we have indirect method indirect means all it is online online means mis intermediary paper survey or questionnaire you will be having a feedback survey electronic survey electronic focus group email support line marketing and sales user group complete analysis trade show other media analysis system testing all that can be done online it all includes here which is the direct in indirect uh, methods of business analysis how do you elaborate is that for example if i give you the example of face to face interview in the face to face interview what are the things you need to consider you have to set up a location where you will be coming and meeting each other you will be deciding in further what are the questions you need to ask you will be understanding the context very well what are the questions are uh, super important that needs to be asked from the client for example if the client says the things very vaguely you have to ask in depth all those things will be decided prior and that will be sent to the uh client on the other hand in the indirect method you will be having an already existing set of questions which will be asking online you will be sending an email you will be asking them on uh, call all those things will be done and you will be getting back the uh, feedback from the uh, user all these things are important you have to mention each of these point at least five points you have to mention and uh, explain in depth moving on to the last super important question of our module which is the design standards what do you mean by design standards first you have to mention that design standards means what if you are designing something there should be some standard you will not design like an idiot right there will be some standards which will be following and designing those are all coming uh, those all come under the design standards from our uh, syllabus point of view there is no uh, mention of what are the design standards but you have to mention what are the features of the design standard what are the characteristics of design standard that will be helpful for you and uh, those things include like for example <coughs> it has some uh, values to the user as well as for the developers what are the values to the uh, users are it allows faster performance you'll be able to easily uh, perform the task faster if the design is good when you see a good design you'll be able to uh, process it very faster that will in turn reduce errors because you'll not make any error while uh, operating the easier systems it will reduce the training time because the user will be requiring less time to get trained because if the visuals are very nice it will be very easy to understand what we are supposed to do and it also improves the efficiency satisfaction and better system utilization and improve the system acceptance everyone will be starting to use use it and it will be very helpful for the users that's the first half of the page you will be writing about the not just half page you have to write as much as you can valuable to the users why because of these concepts the same thing goes for the developer developer is also human user is also human just the perspective changes so what are the things you need to mention is that increase visibility and uh, for the human computer interface you'll be easily uh, the developer will be easily make to, uh, able to make the um, visualization stuff and then you will be able to simplify the design the design will be very simple for the developer so that the developer can make change reduce training time reduce redundant effort provide a benchmark and provide programming and design uh, aids now at any point of time if you forget any concept you are not sure of what uh, you need to write what you have to do is use your common sense this is a very super power you, which you have which is the common sense you can write and uh, fill the answer script the own words just make sure that the key points are there easily you can get to know what are the key points already discussed and thank you so much for watching and make sure you hit the like button subscribe to the channel i'll make up more videos like this for you and i'll see you in the next one